They asked, what was the latest hit review? Wrestling hit review, all the time in your opinion. And a lot. Well, we get, we got two sponsors here. Uh, John Boy, he said, Hot Rock Carnage 1998 it just gave me, uh, gave me that real good feeling the first time I watched it. It also had the first Gather Field for a little bit, but I'm going to take King Stone Cold, you lost in the time. Oh, that was, that was going to be okay, I get it. And then here's, uh, WrestleMania 15, Stone Cold vs. The Rock for the Gather Field Championship. Oh, hey. Ah, I, I, I see, I see. Okay, well, let's get to... We're going to do the news, because I just said it. Let's do it right now, while we're thinking about it. And here we go with Mysterio's uh, judge suspension, if you remember back, it says, All right, most all WWE judge suspension. Then Mysterio's recent violation of the company's drug testing policy has garnered all sorts of media coverage in Mexico. The situation between Mysterio and WWE is being covered as a major news story because it's one of the most popular outlets of any kind in the country and that's from the Jersey newsletter. Well, you know, about that Australian judge suspension, he is, and I'm not too shocked to say this, but I'm ashamed that he and Australia was busted on a judge suspension. But you know what? That's his fault. He should have known better, but I guess shit happens. Former Diva, uh, former WWE Diva, Crystal Marshall, 25, is believed to be joining TNA Wrestling in the near future. Reports his son. Last month, the wife of Bobby Lashley teased making a debut soon. Right now, the Twitter account, I'm gonna make a debut soon. Where could it be? Marshall last appeared on a wrestling ring in September 2007. Taking part of his wedding angle, WWE, but quietly released Marshall from a contract to later. I don't know what TNA officials are looking to add even more girls to the last over the next few months, so to speak. Hmm. What? Well, you know what? I'm a fan of it. I don't see why not. I don't, I don't see why TNA shouldn't do it. Their senior referee, Earl Hebner. He's in charge of the officials here. He's got the hell with them. They're getting in there. That's right. He's a senior referee. Oh, my gosh. Slaughter knocked all the way outside. Did you see that? There's no referee here. These five men are assaulting each other. Look at them. Oh, here comes a golf ball. Kane. 
Now she not lose the tournament, the number one contender to Ochi's title at Unforgiven. Now that is what turned into a six pack. Now if you're a number on SmackDown before it, to Ochi had to win three of the five matches because he pissed McMahon on for some odd god known reason. I don't have a fucking clue. Anyways, I thought it was a good match. Basically, check it out on YouTube. And it basically started out as to Oich McMahon feud. McMahon tried to screw to Oich. McMahon tried to give Tess the title because mm, to Oich had a baby title match. Baby title match against... Well, he had a uh, to Oich and Tess had a to Oich. Uh, then the title match on uh, Raw, uh, but Shane McMahon is a referee, and Vince as babyface. Now remember, Vince was playing the role as a babyface, slowly turning heel, as you never know from McMahon anyway. Anyways, I thought it was a good match, maybe two. Uh, surprise test that I got push after that, rest in peace Andrew Martin by the way. And um, yes, that's all I gotta say about Tess. Uh, uh, she was ending at Armageddon in 1999, but so Oink's getting the victory and Stephanie turning heel. And so then, man, uh, anyways. Yeah, it's not that time again. And, uh, anyways, I thought, uh, that's, uh, that's my opinion this week, so, enjoy! My baby, she's a Chippewa, oh, she's a one of a kind. All my friends call me Bear Crow. The village chicken is my papa. He gets his orders from my mama. She makes him walk the line. You can find me in my wigwam. I'll be feeding on my 